Remember, remember, the 5th of November. Gunpowder, treason and plot. I see no reason why gunpowder treason should ever be forgot. The gunpowder plot was a failed attempt to blow up the Houses of Parliament and King James I in an effort to end the persecution of Roman Catholics by the English government. Organised by Robert Catesby, other conspirators included Thomas Winter, Thomas Percy, John Wright and Guy or Guido Fawkes. The group was later joined by Robert Keyes and seven others. Most people associate the gunpowder plot with Guy Fawkes as on the eve of a general parliamentary session scheduled for the 5th of November 1605 he was found lurking in the cellar of the parliament building by Sir Thomas Kyvett, a justice of the peace. When the premises were searched, over two tons of gunpowder were found. So who was this guy? Guy Fawkes was born in Yorkshire in 1570. His father died when he was eight, after which his mother married a recusant Catholic. Fawkes converted to Catholicism and went to mainland Europe where he fought for Catholic Spain, and that's also where he adopted the name Guido, which is Italian for Guy. The gunpowder plot was organised by Robert Catesby, who was an English Catholic. His father had been persecuted by Queen Elizabeth I for refusing to conform to the Church of England. The plan was to blow up the House of Lords during the state opening on the 5th of November 1605 and to restore the Catholic monarchy from the Church of England. Several of the conspirators expressed concern about fellow Catholics who would be caught up in the explosion so an anonymous letter was sent to William Parker, 4th Baron Monteagle, on the 26th of October, warning him not to attend Parliament, stating that they shall receive a terrible blow this Parliament, and yet they shall not see who hurt them. On the 4th of November, the vaults of Parliament were searched, where a large pile of wood and guy forks were discovered. He claimed he was called John Johnston and the wood belonged to his master Thomas Percy, which raised more suspicion as Percy was already known as a Catholic agitator. King James ordered another search the early hours of Tuesday the 5th of November, where Guy Fawkes was found carrying fuses and matches. He was arrested and 36 barrels of gunpowder were later discovered. On learning the plot's discovery, most of the conspirators fled London, trying to enlist support along the way. Guy Fawkes was tortured for two days before he finally revealed his identity and those of his fellow plotters. We could see how traumatic this was for him by the difference of his signature before and after his torture. On November the 8th, several of the men made a stand against the Sheriff of Worcester at Holbeck House on the Staffordshire border. Catesby was one of those who was shot and killed. Before he died, he managed to crawl into the house, where he was later found clutching a picture of the Virgin Mary. The survivors were taken into custody, and the dead buried near Holbeck, but on the orders of the Earl of Northampton, the bodies were exhumed and decapitated, and the heads were taken to London, where Catesby's head was placed on the side of Parliament House. The remaining men were put on trial on the 27th of January 1606 and were convicted and sentenced to be hanged, drawn and quartered. Moments before his execution on January the 31st 1606, Guy Fawkes jumped from a ladder whilst climbing to the gallows, breaking his neck and dying. In 1606, Parliament established November 5th as a day of public thanksgiving. Guy Fawkes Night is now celebrated annually across Great Britain on the 5th of November in remembrance of the gunpowder plot. Communities will light bonfires, set off fireworks and burn effigies of Guy Fawkes. <laughs>